Okay, this is a mustard S60 size 8. This was one of Sawyer's nymphs, uh, akin to the pheasant tail, but it was developed by him uh, for fishing in Swedish Lapland. Uh, when the trout were feeding on small light coloured mayfly nymphs. I'm not sure which mayfly it was but uh, this is it, it's a very simple pattern. So we put on some tying thread, we take a grey goose quill, it can be Canada goose or grey goose or whatever goose you like really, and we take just a few fibres of the grey goose quill for the tail, tie this in, there we are, just run this a wee bit along the body, about there, remove them. Then we need some copper wire which we'll just tack in there and then we pull it through like so. Okay, Tie it all the way in down to the tail base. There. Just put that out of the way. Now what we need is a little strip of grey goose. Very simple pattern but very effective. We tie this in by the points. Just there. We'll tie these down as we go up the hook shank. You want to stop just about where the thorax and the wing case will begin so that's about there. So what we do now is we take these fibres, keeping them parallel, and we wrap these to make the abdomen. Now if they get short, you can put your finger on the back to hold them into position as you take hold of them on the other side. There we are, that will do it. So wind our thread back, catch it around and tighten. There we are. Then we can just, just a few at a time, don't try and take them all at once. There we are. Then the opposite way we firstly go one turn around the tail base, like so, and then the opposite way to the hurl, we put the rib on. This will make the hurl body stronger. And then, this, this has to be a slim nymph, so it doesn't, you can't really add lead wire and you don't want that much weight on it so you can just add a little more weight with the copper wire like so and just put that over and catch that in there we are and go back just a tight in position like so and then we can just take that off with friction there we are now we go back into the end of the abdomen and we take a darker section of the quill and this is going to be the wing case so at the cut ends we tie this in tight into the abdomen Go forward just tying down the ends I can remove those small bits there, there we go. do it nicely then we go back up into the wing case just see how that's gonna go that's good then 
a lighter quill section and we'll tie this in Move our thread forward around the hook eye and then we'll take this for the thorax. There's one in this on. Like so. And again, keep intention on your tying thread when you're doing this. Just take one or two at a time. And they'll come off very close into the tying thread. But you must keep tension on your tying thread, otherwise you'll pull them out. There we are. Get rid of that. Then we take another small section of the points of grey goose and these should be about as long as the little longer than the beginning of the wing case we just hold those in position tack them in take that forward take them off and then we pull the wing case over and tie that down. Just tighten up that bobbin. And I can remove those. Put a whip finish on it. Remove the time thread. And that's Sawyer's Grey Goose Nymph.